This is going to be the demonstration of a prototype of a biodiesel stove eh, that was made by George eh, and we am with Haitian American Agro Industries, especially known on the HAAI, that biodiesel used. That, that stove used biodiesel made out from waste vegetable oil that we're picking up in Miami. And the same biodiesel can be made in Haiti with uh, jatulfa oil, castor oil, or peanut oil. And I'm going to, first of all, this is a gallon of biodiesel that was mis made by with the waste oil. We use a little bit of alcohol, which is rubbing alcohol, regular alcohol. And we're going to insert some of the alcohol in the burner. And that alcohol is going to preheat the burner so the biodiesel can inflame. So this stove has uh, two burners in it and it will uh, accommodate uh, the regular Haitian pot. Now, we finish to fill it. We're going to light them up. If you can take a view, yes, come and take a view of the flame in the front. In the front, and as it is uh, warming up the burners. This burner is ready to go. At the beginning it's going to make some yellow flame. It's because it's not hot enough. It's still burning the alcohol. It takes about three minutes before the burner gets hot enough. So the biodiesel can atomize and you're going to see real blue flame. So now it's only the, the alcohol that's burning, it's not the biodiesel yet. Let's give it some pressure because it's a pressure trap stove. To make sure we have enough pressure in there. Okay, the right one just started to go. Usually the other one should follow up. There we go. Few minutes for the alcohol to finish burning. Both of them are 
fully operational now, it's only fuel biodiesel burning. And as you can see, you have blue flames in there and a little bit of red flame. Control valve is being adjusted so we can raise the temperature. I have prepared a pot so I can boil some water so people can see how it goes. And it's probably 358 now. It will not take it will take less than five minutes to boil a gallon of water. So if you can come around and take a picture on both sides. So you from under so they can see the flame under the pot. So you should have a lot of distance. See what wants to come to. And of course, purposely, we're doing this indoors to show that there is no pollution associated with it. The, the fumes smell like regular cooking oil being burned, but clean, no pollution. Now, we're looking for financing to mass produce this stove and we find them, you know, for use in third world countries instead of using charcoal that is no good first of all you know as a pollution problem and especially like in Haiti where they're cutting all the trees to use the uh, charcoal and this works clean fast doesn't produce any pollution at all it's green and safe and this can be used as a camping stove this can be used as a regular cooking stove. The fuel consumption on this thing is that uh, with one liter you can cook for seven and a half hours, um, which is more effective than, uh, than even propane. Propane is dangerous, it can explode, while biodiesel, you know, the flash point is about 480 degrees, and it will not explode. Just to see where we were heating up the oil, there goes the blue flame. And it smells just like French fries. Good old biodiesel, made in the USA. By waste cooking oil. And in Haiti, they can do the same with castor oil and jagger fry oil.